Welcome to Entertainment Speakeasy. Hey, Glad to see you guys again. Today's topic is suicide on film. That is a very poignant topic, especially these days with the advent of so many Netflix shows and other media that are coming out talking about this topic. Yeah, like 13 Reasons Why, oh. which is the most recent iteration of suicide on film. And the sad part about that show is that somebody could have made a difference, like her guidance counselor. He could have stopped her from committing. So all of those 13 people could have stopped her. It's, it, it's absolutely amazing that that is how that progresses down. And it's all these missed opportunities that lead to that final decision. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, John Hughes movies from the 80s. Big talk about teen angst and where that kind of goes. Breakfast absolutely. Club in particular. I mean, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. And it's just, just, it's so incredibly poignant. And it gets at, you know, again, they create a group for each other that helps to get out of these various issues that they have. Uh, Ferris being, Bueller's Day Off. Oh, what a great one. Cameron was dead set on ending his life. And one awesome day and the ability to stand up to his father changed that whole thing for him, which was so cool, so important. Absolutely. And, and clearly suicide is not only a modern issue, but it, it stems back all the way to antiquity with the Roman idea of a noble suicide, a sacrificial suicide mm. that would then improve the standing of your family or clear all debts or, or do things like that. For instance, in The Godfather with the okay. famous scene with Frank Pentangeli where he's in the bathtub and he's slit his wrists and they're all kind of the blood's dripping into the, into the warm bath water and he knows in a sense, he dies happy because he knows that he's doing this for his family. He, all of his debts with Michael Corleone are cleared, and he's able to then kind of move on with his life. So that's one idea of that sacrificial suicide, that Roman ideal. And another movie who should have won more awards because it's so awesome is Armageddon, <laughs> where Bruce Willis, he decides to commit suicide, but it's a sacrificial, again, just like you said, it's a sacrificial suicide to sure. save his family, to save humanity. Blows but up not, the asteroid. Yeah, he yeah. blows up the asteroid, but not all suicides are that, I don't want to say great, but have that powerful meaning behind it. Some suicides are just a desperate act of a desperate person, and that's why I think suicide on film is so alluring, because we don't get to see a person's final moments. Right, what they're thinking in that moment. Well, one scene that springs to mind, of course, is, is the final scene of Thelma and Louise, yeah. where they're, they're going over the cliff. And there is some, some bravery of going out on their own terms. There's some desperation of they know they're going to get caught for the crimes that they did. There's a political angle there. There's a feminism angle there. There's, there's, there's just so much in that final scene, which is why it's so iconic and so many people remember it uh, uh, from, from a movie like that. Because it was a powerful choice. Um, regardless, you know, obviously suicide is the absolute worst, terrible. We don't want anyone to ever even, you know, think of those things. Absolutely. But on film, you do see why some people make those choices. And Thelma and Louise, I think they lack choices in their lives. It's a man's world. And they're like, you know what? In this final act, we're going to rip the choice away from society's clutches. And we're going to make the final decision on how we go out. On their own terms. On now, their own uh, terms. Robert Sean Leonard uh, is a, uh, a very brave... Uh, artist when he basically in Dead Poet Society that's my favorite movie or one of uh, where he wants to be an actor and he's not allowed to by his father wants him to be a doctor and he basically commits suicide because he sees no way out but honestly uh, if you have a problem of any kind if you're thinking or contemplating suicide please reach out to a suicide hotline please talk to your friends talk to your neighbors talk to your parents Talk to whoever can be there for you and share your opinions, share your, your, your heart, your love, uh, your thoughts on this subject. It's a multi-layered one. It's not an easy one to talk about, obviously, but we wanted to say that because we, uh, we love you guys and we feel that we owe it to talk about all aspects of entertainment and this is certainly one of them. Thanks so, for joining us. Until next time, cheers.